This story is called Sylvester, the Mouse with the Musical Ear by Adelaide Hall, illustrated by N. M. Boddicker. Sylvester was a country mouse. He lived in a grassy meadow and there were lovely sounds all about him. On the north, there was a little road where birds fluttered in the dust and made little chirping sounds. On the south, there was a lovely woods where the meadowlark sang and sang. On the east, there was a cornfield where soft winds made music all day and crickets chirp, chirped all night. And on the west, there was a silver brook that went gurgle, glub, glub with a musical beat. Sylvester was a mouse with a musical ear. He loved the meadow sounds by day. He loved the meadow sounds by night. He would sit in his doorway, listening to the birds and to the crickets. He would sit, listening to the winds and to the brook. He would sit, quiet, humming softly to himself. But one day, men came from the city. They dug up the little road on the north and made a big highway. Now birds no longer fluttered in the dust and made little chirping sounds. Cars went by, zoom. Trucks went by, whoosh. Sylvester no longer heard the music of the birds. Soon, down the big highway, the city began to come closer. One day, men came and cut down the lovely woods on the south. They put up rows and rows of houses. Now the meadow larks no longer sang in the woods. The meadow larks went away to sing and sing in another place. And the city came closer and closer. Men came once more. They cut down the cornfield on the east and put up rows and rows of shops. The crickets went away to chirp, chirp in another cornfield, and Sylvester no longer heard the winds above the city noises. The city came closer and closer. Men came again. They dug up the silver brook on the west. Now it no longer went gurgle, glub, glub with a musical beat, and Sylvester no longer sat in his doorway humming softly to himself. He just sat listening to the zoom of the cars and the whoosh of the trucks. One day, men came with a big bulldozer. They dug up the grassy meadow. They dug up Sylvester's house. They even dug up Sylvester. I am no longer a country mouse. I am a city mouse, he said. I shall find another home. And away he went. There were many places in the city, but no place was just right for a mouse with a musical ear. Some places were too noisy, and some places were too quiet. Sylvester went on and on. All at once, he heard lovely sounds. He heard lovely music. In he went, and there was a place filled with musical sounds. There was a place just right for a mouse with a musical ear. Sylvester saw a fine house. There was a little door for going in and for coming out. Across the doorway was a wire fence. In went Sylvester, and he sat quiet, humming softly to himself. Sylvester liked his house. He especially liked the gay music, piano music, violin music, and drums with a musical beat. Sylvester liked his doorway. He especially liked going in and coming out. When he went across the wire fence, he made lovely sounds. Plink, plink, he made music. Sylvester was very quiet by day, but at night when the shop was dark, 
He played on the wire fence across his doorway. He played quiet music. Plink, plink. He played noisy music. Plonk, plonk. He played the music he heard all day. People went by the shop at night. Who is playing? they asked. Who plays music in your shop at night? they asked the shopkeeper. One night the shopkeeper listened in the dark. He was very quiet. Sylvester came softly to his door. He began to play. Plunk, plunk, plunk. The shopkeeper heard the music. It came from the guitar on the shelf. But in the dark, he did not see Sylvester. It's a magic guitar, he cried. A magic guitar that plays by itself. Soon people heard about the magic guitar. They stood outside the shop at night and listened. They went, in, they went inside the shop by day and looked. But nobody would buy the guitar. Nobody would buy a magic guitar that played by itself. Far away in the west, Tex heard about the magic guitar. Tex loved music. Tex loved to sing. But Tex did not have a guitar. A guitar is just what I need, said Tex. Especially a magic guitar that plays by itself. Away to the city went Tex. He traveled a long, long way. He traveled along singing as he went. Finally, he came to the city. Where can I find the magic guitar? He asked. Tex found the magic guitar. He bought the magic guitar. Tex was very happy. Tex set off for the west with his magic guitar. He traveled along singing as he went. Inside the guitar was Sylvester, sound asleep. Tex stopped at night to rest in a grassy meadow. It was very dark and very quiet. All at once, Tex heard music. Blink, blink, blunk, 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 blunk. Tex sat up, and there was Sylvester. It is not a magic guitar, cried Tex. It is a magic mouse, a mouse with a musical ear. Sylvester stopped playing. He saw the lovely grassy meadow. He heard the lovely country sounds. He looked and looked at Tex. At once, he and Tex liked one another. They became great friends. Sylvester went home with Tex. He played the guitar while Tex sang. They made lovely music together. People came from far away to listen. They traveled here and they traveled there. They made soft music and noisy music. Sylvester traveled inside his fine house, and sometimes at night he would sit quiet in his doorway, humming softly to himself. Sometimes he was a city mouse, and sometimes he was a country mouse, but at all times he was a musical mouse, a mouse with a musical ear. The end.